Good morning and welcome to day 10 of my August vlog. Um, it's Saturday today. Um, the weather looks a bit grim out there. I think it's going to rain later. Um, I've just put some washing out so hopefully that'll get dry before the rain comes. Um, I've got a bit of sewing to do today. I need to make some more project bags and I want to try and do a bit more on that maple leaf quilt and I'd like to do some more work on my bee embroidery and of course I've got a bit of baking to do. Today's smoothie is delicious. It's got some frozen fruit in and some strawberries and maple syrup and um, some blueberries and it's really nice. So this is breakfast today. Today I'm going to be making some lemon curd. First we need some sugar. I'm using the caster sugar. Three eggs. And some unsalted butter. I've just tasted the lemon curd and it tastes really nice. It's tangy but nice and sweet, just how I like it. So I'm looking forward to when it's cooled down and we can try some. I think I might have to make some scones or something to go with it. Right, I'm going to make some sourdough bread as we've run out again. So we need some water. Sourdough starter. Some salt. Bread flour, and 
bit too much that. Now we're going to pop it in the bread machine. Right now that's going to take about three and a half hours to do. I don't put a lid on my jar of sourdough starter. I like to, well I have had a cotton handkerchief on it before now and when the sourdough sort of swelled up in the jar it sort of came over the top and the handkerchief got stuck to the top of the jar and it actually ripped in half when I was trying to take it off the jar. So I've put a bit of kitchen roll on top and I just tie it on with a bit of rim just to keep the flies off it and it's fine but I am going to make some cotton ones, get some scraps of fabric and make some little covers for it and then if they do rip I can just chuck them out but that hanky was an old hanky, it was like 50 odd years old and it was my mum's and so I'm a bit sad that I've ripped it but never mind, it can't be helped. You live and learn. There is one thing I'd like to do today, and that is to make some wax wraps from, for my sort of small bowls for storing food in the fridge. Um, so I think I'm gonna have a go at that now. Never made any before, so I'll take it along with me. So I'm just going to grate some bees wax. I don't know how much I'm going to need. And do all of these. Well, those few sticks have given me this amount of wax grated, so we should see how far this will go. Well, lesson learned there. I should have put a silicone mat underneath, and I didn't. I didn't expect the wax to go through, and it has gone into the ironing board cover. I'm um, not sure I'm going to be able to get it out, but so I might have to replace the ironing board cover. Never mind now. I've enjoyed making them, no matter what. It's not the end of the world. Well, this is the last one. shape to help it cool down okay here's my um, wrap all nicely cooled so I'm going to see if it will go over this bowl and then you've got to use the warmth of your hands to make it form around the bowl Probably could have done with a little bit bigger one on this bowl, but it'll be fine. There 
there we go. And there we have it. One wax wrap. Really enjoyed making these. I'm going to do some more, some bigger ones. But I will get my um, uh, layers sorted out next time so it doesn't go through onto my ironing board. Right, I'm making butternut and ricotta tart. And we need some butternut squash. seasoning up I'm not actually following a recipe I'm just making it up as I go along because the recipe calls for sage and you know? I don't like sage so I'm going to use tarragon Pop some veggie oxo cube on top. And then I'm going to pop this in the oven to cook, I think, for about 20 minutes. And this is what I'm using I'm using some ready roll puff pastry. I'm going to put some parchment paper on the tray. And pop my pastry up. Now I've got to score about one and a half centimetres in all the way around. Now I'm going to pop this in the oven for 15 minutes and then it'll rise up a bit and I can push the centre of the pastry down and then fill it with the vegetables and pop it back in the oven.
One soda bread loaf fresh out of the bread machine. I'd just like to share with you the progress I've made on my bee embroidery today. It's coming along nice, I've nearly finished. So I might get this finished off tomorrow. And I think I'm going to call it a day now. It's getting quite late and this video needs editing. Um, so I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope you'll join me tomorrow. Bye.